שלום, שלום. שלום, שלום, שלום פסטה. שלום סיסטקו, שלום סוסטת לדיס, הללויה. הללויה. כן, הוא יסטט? יסטט. שלום לדס, כיף פריזס צ'יאווה, then we can start, הללויה. 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 We praise you, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we give you all the glory, Yahweh, our Elohim, Yahweh, the creator of heaven and earth. Father, there is no one like you. You are the great that I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We glorify your holy name, Abba Yahweh. We worship you, Father. Hallelujah, we praise your hallelujah. holy name, Abba Yahweh. Hallelujah, you are Yahweh mighty in battle. You are Yahweh, Yahweh Prince of Peace. You are Yahweh Glory the King of Kings. Hallelujah. 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 Yahweh, there is no one like you. Hallelujah. We worship you, our Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. Hallelujah. Glory be to your Holy Name, Father. Hallelujah. You are our only true Elohim. We thank you, thank Abba you, Yahweh. Hallelujah. You. you are Yahweh who provide for thank us. You are Yahweh who protect us. Hallelujah. You are Yahweh, our you hiding place. You are Yahweh, you. our wonderful you. counselor. We thank you, you Father. Yahweh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bow down to your holy Hallelujah. throne, Abba Yahweh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yahweh. Hallelujah. Father, as we come before you, Father, your word says, if a man says it's not a sinner, he's a liar, and the truth is not finding him. Father, Yahweh, we pray right now that you forgive us our sins, for we know that our sins, Father, have separated uh, us from you, Father Yahweh, and you're not being able to hear our prayers. Right now, Father, we pray that you forgive us our sins. Abba Yahweh, forgive us if we have said the word, Father, that is not in line with your will, Abba Yahweh. If we have said a word, Father, that have destroyed anyone out there, Abba Yahweh, we pray that you forgive us. Forgive us, Father Yahweh, if we have denied you in everywhere or in every action, Abba Yahweh, knowingly or unknowingly, we pray that you forgive us, Father. Forgive us, Father Yahweh, for the things that you have done that are not in line with your will, Abba Yahweh. We pray that you forgive us. Forgive us for defiling our bodies, for we know that our bodies, it is your temple where your Holy Spirit dwells. Father Yahweh, we pray that you forgive us if you have defiled our body in any action, in any way, Abba Yahweh. We pray that forgive us. Father, your word says if you don't forgive those who have done us wrong, Abba Yahweh, you're not going to forgive us. Right now, we pray, Father, that we forgive those, Father, who have hurt us, those, Father, who have done us any harm, any wrong, Father, that have, Father, make us angry in any way. We pray, Abba Yahweh, that we forgive them, and we pray, Yahweh, that you bless them. You bless the work of their hands in Yeshua's name. Father, as we have come together, we pray that you guide us. Father, let your Holy Spirit lead us. If we have come together today during the book of John 6, 6 we pray, Abba Yahweh, that you prepare our hearts, Father. You prepare our minds, Father, to receive your words as it is, Abba Yahweh. Let us hear you. Let us hear your voice talking to us. For you have said, Father, if you hear your voice, Father, we should not harden our hearts. Father Yahweh, open our mind, our spiritual mind and our spiritual ears, Father Yahweh, to receive your word, Abba Yahweh, because we know your word says, Father, we cannot live only on food, but Father, we, uh, we, a man should live also through the word, Father, because your word, Abba Yahweh, it is life upon us. We thank you, Father, and we glorify you in the wonderful name of Yeshua, our Messiah. We also pray for those who are still coming to join us. Abba Yahweh, we pray that you be with them in Yeshua's name, Father. We pray <clears throat> that this whole service, Father Yahweh, we surrender it unto your capable hands. Let your Holy Spirit be the one that is going to manifest this afternoon. 
uh, on this platform. Abayawe, if there's any other spirit that is not of yours, Father Yahweh, we pray that it's not going to manifest in Yeshua's name. And we pray, Father, if there's any word that is not in line with your will, Abayawe, let it not be, Father, manifest on this platform. Father, block the, the ears of your children, Abayawe, so that, Father, they don't hear such ways. Father Yahweh, we pray that you guide each and every one in the wonderful name of Yeshua, our Messiah. We pray, so be it. Hallelujah. 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 <clears throat> uh, shalom, 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 everyone. Um, you guys are welcome. And I greet you in the name of Yeshua, our Messiah, and Yahweh, our Heavenly Father. Um, Pastor Shalom, uh, you are welcome, Pastor. Hallelujah. 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 Shalom, shalom. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't laugh. <laughs> Okay, I'll keep it between us, Pastor. Hallelujah. Yeah, oh, keep shalom, shalom. <laughs> uh, shalom. Today we are doing the book of John, chapter 6. Hallelujah. It's one of the longest books. Uh, Pastor, how are we going to do it? Are we going to do the whole book? Or... Um, let's, let's try to do up to 35. Okay. And then uh, we'll do um, from 35 to 71 next week, uh, uh, the okay. following day. Okay, thank you so much, Pastor. <coughs> Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, we are going to read from the book of John, chapter 6, from verse 1 to verse 3. Hallelujah. Let me see. Yeah, to verse 36. Okay. Yeah. Six. Okay, no problem. Uh, and it read as follows from verse 1 to verse 3. After these things, Yeshua went away over the Sea of Galilee, of uh, Tiberias, and a great crowd followed him, for they saw his miracles, which he, he did on the sick ones. And Yeshua went up into the mountain and sat there with his disciples. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, um, this is when Yeshua started now his ministry. Um, people were following him. Even today, we find there are people who are miracle mongers. Uh, when they hear miracles, they follow. And this is the same thing that these people were following because he had seen uh, the miracles that he had done. Hallelujah. 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 Shalom, brethren. You are all welcome. The book of John chapter 6, we are going to read from verse 4 to verse 6, and it reads as follows. And the Passover was near, the feast of the Jew. Then Yeshua lifting up his eyes and seeing that a great cloud is coming to him, he said to Philip, from where may we buy bread that this may eat? But he said this to test him, for he knew what he was about to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah already people were coming and um, Yeshua was already set to uh, do a miracle there. So that's why he said, knowing very well, because if you read, he said the Passover was near, the feast of the Jews. So during the Passover, we know that when it is about that Passover, there is no bread. Uh, unless if it is unleavened bread. But Yeshua was actually asking, um, he said this to test him. He was testing Philip yet, say, where can we get bread? Yet he knew what was happening and what he was about to happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Shalom, uh, brethren. Is there any contribution or any question from verse 1 to verse 6? Hallelujah, the book of John chapter six, hallelujah. If there is no contribution, we are going to read from verse seven to verse nine, hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor. And it read as follows. Philip answered him, bread for 200 denarii are not enough for them, that each of them may receive a little. One of his disciples said to him, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, a little boy is here who has five loaves of barley and two fish, 
But what are these for so many? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can see now that uh, a miracle stage, the stage of a miracle was um, a miracle was about to be staged because they knew they could not get any bread which would feed all these people. And um, there was the brother of Simon Peter said, no, no, there's a little boy here. And he's one of those who were just following around. And he said, he's got five loaves of barley hmm. and two fish. But what can these um, compare to the number of people they had? Because imagine there were a multitude of people and they have got only these, these two, um, five loaves and uh, two fish. This was a lunch for this boy, a lunch for the small boy. But what about this multitude that were coming? Hallelujah. 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 Shalom, uh, brethren. Any contribution? Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor. We are going to read from the verse 10 to verse 12, the book of John chapter 6. Hallelujah. And it reads as follows. And Yeshua said, make the men to recline. And much grass was in the place. Then the men reclined. The number was about 5,000. And Yeshua took the loaves and giving thanks distributed to the disciples and the disciples to those reclining. And in the same manner, in the same way, they fish as much as they desired. And when they were filled, he said to his disciples, gather up the fragment left over, that not anything be lost. Hallelujah. 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 And uh, you, we see here that um, those two fish uh, and, and those five loaves, uh, they were enough for 5,000 people. And Yeshua told them to sit down. And uh, what, what we need to understand here is the disciples were not led by sight because looking at the multitude, 5,000 people, and only a lunch for a little boy that was in his cuffing. Um, if they had gone through with sight, they would not have listened to Yeshua. They would have actually said, no, this is, this is no way, it cannot happen. But they had faith. So they told the man to sit down and the men sat down and each and every one was given enough from those two. What I'm trying to say um, regarding to this word is, brothers, let's not be led by sight. Because when we look at the sight, it might actually make us be afraid uh, because we start having certain telling us that it is impossible. When you are sick and you put your mind so much into the sickness, you'll be very far from receiving a miracle of healing because you will be seeing as if it is impossible for you to. But if you believe, regardless of how sick you are, regardless of what the world is saying, the world might say to you, you have got corona today. But if you have faith in Yahweh, you will know that that corona will change to something else. It's something else that is not even deadly. But if you believe by being led by sight, because we are told that corona is killing, corona is killing, and then we turn our platform, our assembly to be debating about corona instead of teaching people about having faith in Yahweh. Hallelujah. then definitely we will have a problem because that corona will actually dominate and have, will have power over us. My brothers and sisters, this is a very good example. And that miracle was not for those who were there. This miracle was for us to understand that Yeshua, if we believe in him, 
regardless of how little our resources are, he can boost them to actually be available for 5,000 people. Remember a lunch for a small boy was actually a, a, a feast for 5,000 people, hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. Hallelujah. Shalom, brethren. Hallelujah. The book of John from verse 1 to verse 12. Is there any contribution? Any questions? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you again, Pastor. We are going to read from verse 13 to verse 15. <clears throat> and it reads as follows. Then they gathered and filled 12 hand baskets with the fragments of the five belly loaves which were left over to those who had eaten. Then seeing what a miraculous sign Yeshua did, the man said, this is truly the prophet, the one coming into the world. Then knowing that they were about to come and size him, that they might make him a king, Yeshua withdrew again to the mountain alone by himself. Hallelujah. 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 We, we can see two things in, in, in this paragraph. Uh, in these three verses. The first one is from those five belly loaves, which was a little boy's lunch, that it multiplied and even more things were left over. And then the second one, we can see that people believed that he was a prophet because of the signs and, and the miracles that he was performing. They were not saying he's a prophet because of the words that he was saying, but it is because of the signs and wonders that he did. This is exactly the same as we find ourselves today where people only believe the spirituality of the people when there are signs and wonders. That's why a lot of people are hoodwinked by the devil when he makes his, the beast to perform signs and wonders and the wandering wonders and the people are going to those churches that perform these wonders, wonderful wonders. And that this is being led by sight. We are not supposed to be led by, led by sight. And then on verse 16, it is now another part where you find some brothers are saying it's okay to be involved in politics. But here, we hear they knew that they were, Yeshua knew that they were about to come and size him, that they might make him king. Here, they saw a man who could perform signs and wonders and miracles and all these things. They said, this is a better man for him to be our king. The reason why they wanted him, they wanted Yeshua to be their king so that he can be able to do his miracles for their benefit, even when they are oppressed. Because remember, the Jews at that time were oppressed. That's why we know that there were the, the, the Maccabees and them that rebelled. This is because they had a rebellion and they were under oppression. So when they saw Yeshua, they said, yeah, this is a very good freedom fighter for us. With all these miracles, he can actually change things. But Yeshua withdrew to the mountains. Why? He did not want to be a king of the Jews working under Saturn in the system that was of Saturn. Remember, Yeshua was offered the kingdom of Saturn, and he refused it. Now, brothers and sisters, those of us who are brothers in Messiah, but who find themselves doing politics, who is their leader? Because Yeshua said, imitate me as I imitate my father. 
So who are they imitating? Because Yeshua withdrew to the mountain. He did not want to be part of this, this, this shenanigan. But our elders, pastors, what uh, um, priests, deacons, call them any name, they are running to be part and parcel of the kingdom of Satan. Hallelujah. 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 So true, Pastor. Uh, we have a message from Sister Ko. He says, Shalom, brethren, we are struggling with our network today. Hallelujah. So this is Hallelujah. Uh, Shalom, brethren. <clears throat> the book of John chapter 6 from verse 1 to verse 6, uh, 15. Is there any other contribution or any question? Hallelujah. If there is no contribution, then we are going to read from verse 16 to verse 18, and it read as follows. And when it became evening, his disciples went down on the sea, and entering into the boat, they were going across the sea to Capernaum, and darkness had already occurred, and Yeshua had not come to them, and the sea was aroused by a great wind blowing. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, we see the disciples, um, they started um, embarking on their journey um, to Kaperman and it was dark and their sure was not with them. So they decided, no, let's just go because remember Yeshua withdrew. That means he left them, he withdrew and went alone. So the disciples had to follow him. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. We are going to read from verse 19 to verse 21, and it reads as follows. Hallelujah. Then having wrote about 25 or 30 uh, furlongs, they saw Yeshua walking on the sea. And he, and he, having come near to the boat, they were afraid. But he said to them, I am, do not fear. Then they desired to take him into the boat. And the boat was instantly at the land to which they were going. Hallelujah. 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 Here we see Yeshua now walking on the, on the, on the water. And that these people were now afraid. They saw Yeshua walking. They so Yeshua walking and he having come near the boat, they were afraid. Why were they afraid? When they saw him walking, they saw him, but they were afraid. There are times when we know the truth, but we are afraid of the truth. Because our minds does not want to process to accept the truth. And here, they were seeing this is Yeshua. They knew he was the Messiah. They knew all the miracles that he had done. But still, when he started walking on the water, it became too much for them. That's why they were afraid. My brothers and sisters, let us not be afraid of the work of Yahweh that he might be doing in our lives. And when we are afraid, that means we are actually doubting that it is him. Just like these, their fear was due to the fact that they were doubting that it was Messiah. And we do it ourselves as well today, that we doubt and then we get afraid because we don't believe that it can happen. Yahweh can heal us. We don't believe Yahweh can provide us. Yahweh can give us that which we need. We don't believe. That's why we have a fear. Even though we are praying to Yahweh, we still have fear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor. Shalom, Shalom, Britain. Any contribution, any question? The book of John. 
chapter 6 from verse 1 to verse 21. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Any contribution? If there is no contribution, then we are going to read from verse 22 to verse 24, and it reads as follows. On the, on the morrow, the crowd standing on the other side of the sea had seen that no other little boat was there except one, that one into which his disciples entered, and that Yeshua did not go with his disciples in the, into the small boat, but that the disciple went away alone. But other small boat came from uh, Tiberias near the place where they ate the loaves, the master having given thanks. Therefore, when the crowd saw that Yeshua was not there, nor his disciples, they themselves also entered into the boat and came to Capernaum, came to Capernaum seeking Yeshua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now you see, um, people were now following Yeshua wherever, wherever he, he was going. Hallelujah. Because they, they wanted to see more, more of the miracles that he was doing. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. We are going to read from verse 25 to verse 27. Hallelujah. And it reads as follows. And finding him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, where did you come here? When did you come here? Yeshua answered them and said, truly, truly, I say to you, you seek me not because you saw miraculous sign, but because you ate of the loaves and were satisfied. Do not labor for the food which perishes, but for the food which endure to everlasting life, which the Son of Man will give to you. For Yahweh the Father sealed this one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, these people were following Yeshua because this was uh, because of the, 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 the religious of the stomach. They were fed. This is what Yeshua was saying. It is because of the, 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 the loves that you, you have eaten and you are satisfied. That's why you are looking for me. You want more. I'm sure on those uh, baskets that were left, some actually took home. And uh, now they said, when he comes again, let's go and, and get some more. Yet they had mistaken that Yeshua was to demonstrate that he can give them the food of life. Hallelujah. And that food would give them everlasting life, which no man can give apart from Yahweh, the Father, through the Son, Yeshua. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. And this is what some of the assemblies are doing today to recruit people. They, they, they send food parcels and all these things. The food parcels, yeah, just like political parties. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor. We are going to read from verse 28 to verse 30, if there is no contribution. Hallelujah. And it reads as follows. Then they said to him, what may we do that we may work the works of Elohim? Yeshua answered and said to them, this is the work of Elohim, that you believe into him who that one sent. Then they said to him, then what miraculous sign do you do that we may see and may believe you? What, what do you work? Hallelujah. You see these people, yeah. they, these were, they, they, they were, they were really, I, I don't know, hard heads or what. They had seen him performing miracles. They had eaten the bread. They had seen all those, but still they said, what may we do that you, you may work the work of Elohim? Hallelujah. And then he answered them and said, this is the work of Elohim that you believe into him whom that one sent. Then they said to him, then what miracles, signs do you do that we may see the wanted again? miracles to see they did not want to believe his word these people wanted to believe by seeing not 
by faith. Hallelujah. And uh, this is the, the, the problem that even today, people want, they say seeing is believing. And uh, we should not live by sight. We should live Hallelujah. by faith. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. Uh, brother Kolani, you are welcome, my brother. Hallelujah. Can you get the click done properly? <laughs> <laughs> Don't start. Shalom, brother. <laughs> Shalom. <laughs> um, Pastor, looking at the slide. Shalom. Uh, um, uh, shalom, shalom. I, I didn't greet anyone. Uh, shalom, brethren. Um, this is plain stupidity from all the people who are around Yashua at that time. And um, also, what you, I mean, actually even asking such a question of what work do you do? So what are they trying to say? It was, uh, was he uh, Yashua a magician? Uh, like, was he taken as a, a, a what you call the, 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 uh, the, the clown of the circus or, or what? Because if you were able to, for, for one, did you listen to what he was preaching before uh, before then? And because a crowd of 5,000 wouldn't just seem to follow suits just like that, one. Two, for, for, for the other uh, disciples who were on the boat and when Yashua walked on the water, because of the so-called miracles and those were doubting Thomases, even doubt Thomas was not even doubting, but even those, those so-called doubting Thomases, trying to think of uh, seeing as Yahshua the ghost or the some type of old wives tale that they saw or they heard of and something coming to, 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 to light, uh, which is uh, Yahshua walking water. It comes back to say that, were, you stu were they stupid enough to question the reality of things? Whereas when they would ask this so-called magician who told them about Yahweh, and then when they also had to test among themselves, because they did not test themselves, they were wanting to test uh, Yahshua on their own faith. Like, are you for real? So what work do you do? What if he said, I'm just a straight carpenter, I was just a woman pulling, um, what you call, uh, loaves of bread out of a basket? What would they? Uh, what would they? Would have they said? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Um, it is so true. Uh, because people wanted to see something in order for them to believe. And uh, today we know people. Uh, wanting to see first, what can you do? What do you do? What miracles have you done? And uh, who was this? And uh, who was that? Where did you come from? Which church did you started off from? Uh, and all these other questions they ask, not because they want to know, it's because they've got doubt. They are not interested in the word, they're interested in the person. Mm -hmm. They are interested in things they can see, not things they can they can hear and believe. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you, brother, my brother. Hallelujah. My brother Kulani. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you. Shalom, brethren. Um, any contribution? Uh, the book of John from verse 1 to verse 30. We are going to read from verse 31 to verse 33. And it read as follows. <clears throat> Our fathers ate the manna in the heaven, as it is written. He gave them bread out of heaven to eat. Then Yeshua said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, Moses has not given you the bread out of heaven, but my father gives you the true bread out of heaven. For his bread, that of Elohim, is he who has come down from heaven and gives life to the world. Hallelujah. 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 Now, now we are seeing that uh, Yeshua is, the, the, these people were saying, our father ate manna in the wilderness. Yes. As it was written. 
he gave them bread out of heaven to eat. But Yeshua was actually reminding them because we can see that Yeshua was talking to the Jews. He was talking to the children of Israel. He was not talking to the people who were not believers. But these people are the ones that had all the prophecies saying that there will be a Messiah coming, but still they doubted. And uh, Yeshua was now telling them that, yes, what they were given by Moses was not to give them life, but he is the one who can give the true bread of life out of heaven. Not the one that, that just was given for that moment. Because he said in 32, then Yeshua said to them, truly, truly, I say to you, Moses has not given you the bread out of heaven, but my father gave you the true bread out of heaven. For his Hallelujah. bread, that is of Elohim, is he who has come down from heaven. Hallelujah. So you are saying, no, that one with Moses, forget, but he gave you the true one, which is me. But did they listen? I wonder. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. We have message just from our sister Gladys, and it read as follow Shalom all. How do we deal with the issue of doubting within ourselves? Uh, seeing is believing. Even when we know that we should live by faith and not by sight, we still need to see things to believe. So, how do we handle such? Hallelujah. Um, it is it is very difficult because that is the thing that is actually uh, hindering us uh, because we are used to to actually want to see first in order for us to believe. That is the thing that destroyed the children of Israel because everything they wanted to see in order to believe. And uh, by wanting to see uh, that way they were given the laws, which was simple for them, because they would see that if you don't do this, it is that. And Yeshua had come to give them now faith. That is something that you believe that you don't see. That's why Paul said it is the substance of things not seen. And uh, it is the word, because you don't see the word, but you can hear the word. And when you hear the word, believe the source of that word. Now, it is just because we doubt Yahweh. That is the reason why we are failing to believe not because of anything else, because if it was a question of faith, we have faith for our, our, our employers. Every one of us, we have got faith. Sister Gladys, you have faith. That's why you wake up every morning, you go to your shop and open the doors. No one tells you how many people are gonna come to buy, to buy stuff, but you have got faith. You believe that they will come. You don't doubt, because if you doubt, you'll not go to work in the morning. Every one of us, we wake up in the morning, we go to work, we believe, we don't doubt. We believe that at the end of the month, we are gonna be paid a salary and we are gonna pay our rent. We even plan on those things. We, but we believe the word of man. But when it comes to the word of Elohim, we're now doubting. It is not that we lack faith. Uh -uh. We have got faith, but the faith that we have is not saving faith. We should change this faith that we have and uh, put the saving faith in everything that we have. You'll find out that we will be much better. The reason why we don't do it because we believe that the things that we get, we have worked for it. 
but we forget that when you wake up every day, you are, you wake up by faith because you don't know whether Yahweh was gonna hold his bare breath or not, but you still believe that you will do this tomorrow. It is by faith that Yahweh will let you have his breath again. But if we have got faith in believing that we can breathe, why can't we have faith in the one who is able to give us the breath? Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. Sister Gladys, I hope you are answered. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you. We are going to read from verse 34 to verse 36, the book of John 6, and it reads as follows. Then they said to him, Master, uh, Master, always give us this bread. Yeshua said to them, I am the bread of life. The one coming to me will not at all hunger, and the one believing into me will not thirst, never. But I said to you that you also have seen me and did not believe. Hallelujah. 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 These people were still thinking of that bread. You are saying, hey, please give us this bread every time. And Yeshua said, I am that bread. And if you have this bread, you will not hunger. But I say to you that you also have not, you, you have seen me, but did not believe. They have seen Yeshua, they did not believe. But they still wanted the bread. But there is the bread, and the bread said, I am the bread but still they did not believe. Hallelujah. But the things of the world, these people had faith, but it was not saving faith because saving faith is to believe that in everything that we do, Yahweh is the one who is the architect of it. Then we can know that when it is good or bad, we know that it will work good for Yahweh has already made a plan for us because his word says his plans are not of evil, but to prosper us and to give us hope. So whatever situation we find ourselves, we need to actually put our saving faith and our saving faith is, is based on Yahweh, living faith is not based on Yahweh. It is based on anything that can make us have a, a comfortable life. But saving one is the one that is based on Yahweh. Living faith, you can have that living faith which is based on your car, on your good job, on your wife, on your children. That is a living. That faith is there as long as you are living. But saving faith it is the one that comes from Yeshua, where you believe that he is your savior and there is nothing that can happen as long as you are with him. You believe his word to his father when he said the father, these people that you have given me, they can never be lost. Even if the devil come and take them from my hand, they cannot take them away from your hand. When we believe that and have our faith in those words, then regardless of what will come to us, we know that nothing can remove us from the hand of the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister, Sister Emily, uh, looking at the time, we still have um, 45 minutes. Yes, Pastor. Can we carry on until we come yes. to a point where we, we are know. exactly at the time? Sorry okay, about no that. Problem. No, it's fine. Thank you so much, Pastor. Uh, shalom, guys. We are doing the book of John chapter 6 from verse uh, 1 to verse 36. And we are going to read from verse 35 to 39. Pastor, 35. Huh? 34 to 36. We have done 34 to 36. We are yes, here 37 to 38. 39. Okay. Yes, Pastor. Thank you. 
Uh, we are going to read from verse 37 to 39, and it reads as follows. <clears throat> All that the Father gives to me shall come to me, and the one coming to me I will in no way cast out. For I have come down out of heaven, not that I should do my will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of the Father sending me, that of all that he has given me, I shall not lose any from it, but shall raise him up in the last days. Hallelujah. 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 Now we, we can actually see now the reason, the more reason why we should believe the word of Yeshua, Yeshua because he said, all that the Father gives to me shall come to me. And the one coming to me, I will in no way cast out. For I have come down out of heaven, not that I should do my will, but the will of him who sent me. So we can see that Yeshua was only doing the will of the Father. Even everything that he was doing, it was sanctioned by the Father. And this is more reason why we should believe in Yeshua. And uh, we find in verse 39, he said, and this is the will of the Father sending me that of all that he has given me, I shall not lose any from it, but shall raise him up in the last days, which is the last days now. We will not be lost. Yeshua will raise us up in the last days where we will remember who we are in the last days, in the preparation days, where we will prepare the coming of the Messiah. Hallelujah. 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 Shalom, brethren. Thank you so much, Pastor. We are going to read from verse 40 to verse 42. Hallelujah. And it reads as follows. And this is the will of the one sending me, that everyone seeing the Son and believing into him should have everlasting life and I will raise him up at the, at the last days. Then the Jewish murmured about him because he said, I am the bread coming down out of heaven. And they said, is this not Yeshua, the son of Joseph of whom we know the father and the mother? How does this one now say, I have come down out of <laughs> heaven, hallelujah. <laughs> Do you see hallelujah. these people? They actually now undermine Yeshua. To say, but hey, this is the son of Joseph. How can he then start telling us all this nonsense? They did not listen to his words. Even today, we hear people saying, no, but uh, wh 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 where did you come from? What church were you? That is, that is neither here nor there because the spirit of Yahweh is not based on what I did 10 years ago or who my father is. It is based on what I'm doing now. That's why he said, anyone who is, who believe in him, he will rise him up in the last days. And the last days, those who believe in Yeshua will be raised up. And these Jews, because they did not understand they had scriptures, they were not reading because the scriptures, they mentioned to them that he was gonna come from the tribe of Judah. But when he came from the tribe of Judah, they started murmuring and say, but this is Joseph, this is this and that. But is Joseph not from the tribe of Judah? So what was off? It is only their faith was the one which was off. And now they were asking, how does the one now say I have come down from heaven? Because they did not know that it was the word that was with Yahweh and the word become life. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. If there is no contribution, guys, we are going to read from verse 43. Uh, to verse 45, and it reads as follows the book of John 6. Then Yeshua answered and said to them, Do not murmur with one another. 
No one is able to come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up in the last days. For it is written in the prophets that all of them will be taught of Elohim. Everyone who, who hears, therefore, and, le and learns from the Father comes to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, and as I said, he was talking to the Jews. And he was saying, even these Jews, with everything that they had, they cannot go to the Father unless they go through him. And it is saying, no one is able to come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him and I will raise him up in the last days. He was still mentioning the last days. And here we know that no one can go to the Father. And these things were actually things that irritated or offended the, the Jews because they thought they had a direct path to Yahweh because they are the chosen nation. And now here it is, they are told now that your being a chosen nation does not count. In this case, you have to come through me. Hallelujah. And some of them had big stomachs of which they thought they were the big ones in religion, but they had to come back and get to through Yeshua, whom they all knew that he was a carpenter's son. Even today we find people are not accepting the grace of Yahweh because they still believe that Israel of the flesh is still the one that can lead us into eternal life. But Israel of the flesh cannot lead us into eternal life. And the acts of Israel of the flesh cannot guarantee us work in the kingdom of Yahweh. But our love of one another, our love of Yeshua, uh, of Yahweh, and uh, our abiding to the requirement that was set by Yeshua is the only way that we can enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. Not by the observation of the Ten Commandments. It is by the confession of Yeshua that is the only thing that can get us into the kingdom of Yahweh. Hallelujah. 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 Shalom, shalom, breath, and shalom. Is there any contribution? Hallelujah. If there is no contribution, then we are going, or question, we are going to read from verse 46 to verse 48. Uh, the book of John 6 and 3 as follows. It is not that man can see the Father. Rather, he who is from Elohim is he who sees the Father. Truly, truly, I say to you, the one believing into me has everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Hallelujah. 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 Now, we are told again that our having everlasting life is just believing in Yeshua. They should have said, our everlasting life is believing in Yeshua and the law. But no, it is just believing in Yeshua. Then we have everlasting life. Why? Because Yeshua is the bread of life. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. Any contribution, uh, brethren? If there is no contribution, we are going to read from verse 50. I mean, verse 49 to verse 51. And it reads as follows. Your father ate the manna in the wilderness and died. This is the bread coming down out of heaven that anyone may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eat of this bread, he will live forever. And indeed the bread which I give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Hallelujah. 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 Now here we see Yeshua is saying he is the blood. I mean, he is the, 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 the bread. And now 
imagine when you are telling someone that you have to eat me, people would say, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Because they don't understand. They don't understand that eating Yeshua, the bread of life, it is actually <laughs> believing in him and doing the things that he had said in, that he should do. It is believing in his word and keep that word within ourselves right inside that the world will, the, the word will give us life, eternal life, if we do follow it. But I'm sure a lot of people were worried. They say now, does he want to change us into cannibals? <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Uh, we are going to read from verse uh, 52 to verse 54, and it reads as follows. Then the Jew argued with one another, saying, how can this one give us his flesh to eat? Then Yeshua said to them, truly, truly, I say to you, except you eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood, you do not have life in yourself. The one partaking of my flesh and drinking of my blood has everlasting life and I will raise him up at the last days hallelujah hallelujah do you see now yeshua is actually talking about the memorial now hallelujah. but they did not even take note of it that we are supposed to come to a position where we will accept that his body was sacrificed for our sins and by his stripes we were healed and his blood gave us life because in the blood there is life he shed his blood for our on our behalf but still they did not understand it even today there are some assemblies they don't look at this as it is supposed to be they are not partaking in the blood and the flesh of yeshua and the blood of Yeshua to have everlasting life. This is why on the 27th, we are going to have the memorial. That is when we will have the symbol of the bread that we will be eating and also the drink, which, is, which symbolizes his blood that we'll be drinking because we know once we eat and drink, we have everlasting life. Yeshua said we should do this in remembrance. So that's why we are doing it. Hallelujah. Not about slaughtering goats and Passover. We don't pass over anything, but we actually eat his blood and it, uh, drink his blood and eat his flesh. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you again, Pastor. We are going to read from verse 55 to verse 57, and it reads as follows. For my body is truly food, and my blood is truly drink. He who eats my body and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. Even as the living Father sent me, and I live through the Father, also the one partaking me, even that one will live through me. Hallelujah. 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 Brothers and sisters, when we drink, where does the drink go? It goes into our body. We become part and parcel of the food that we have eaten. And those food plays a vital role in our bodies to actually nourish us and make us actually live. If you don't eat, you will die. Now, this is exactly. Now, when we eat the blood, uh, um, the, the body of Yeshua, we are actually eating a spiritual aspect of him. And also, the, we drink the spiritual blood of him. And so that spiritually, we will not starve and die because we don't have him. And when we are eating, he becomes part and parcel with us. That's why it says, we will be, he will be in us. And if he is in us, then he will be part of us. 
Even as the living Father sent me and I live through the Father, also the one partaking me, even that one will live through me. Hallelujah. We live through Yeshua the minute we partake, not the minute we do the Passover. So when we are doing the Passover, we are very far from being those of Yeshua. This is a serious thing. When we are eating and drinking, it is a serious thing. It is not a celebration thing. It is a thing that we need to have with sober minded, not to eat when we are, when we are hungry. It has to be something that we say, this is important. We have to respect it with everything that we have, not dancing and, and joyous and everything, no. It is a serious thing that we need to, to undertake. Hallelujah. 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 Shalom, Brethren. Any contribution so far? Um, if there is no contribution, we are going to read from verse 58 to verse 60. And it reads as follows. This is the bread which came down out of heaven, not as your father ate the manna and died. The one partaking of this bread will live forever. He said these things, teaching in synagogue in Capernaum. Then many of his disciples having heard, they said, this word is hard. Who is able to hear it? Hallelujah. 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 Because here yeah, they were told that your fathers, they ate manna and they died. But the one partaking this bread will live forever. This means that for those we will actually come and share in his remembrance where they will share his blood, which is represented by the, 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 the wine that we, the, the, the grape juice that we take uh, on the memorial and the unleavened bread that we take on that day, we will be actually symbolizing eating Yeshua and drinking his blood. <laughs> And it will be spiritually accepting Yeshua that he is part of us and we are part of him. And that this brought in discomfort in people. As it may bring discomfort in people today, but we should still understand that only those that will partake, eat the living bread and drinking his blood are the ones that will enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. Hallelujah. The choice is ours. Whether we want to say this word is hard, just like the disciples, uh, because he said, how can he? He want to turn us into cannibals. I've heard people writing on internet and everything to say, this is not good. He shouldn't be like that. And uh, there must be something wrong. But Yeshua said it, if you don't have the spiritual inclination to understand the things of the spirit, you will be lost. But here, for those who are in spirit, will understand that drinking the blood and eating the bread, the body, the flesh, it is symbolizing of him in totality that we become part and parcel with him as we would have been buried with him in baptism and raised up with him. And then we eat him, then we have eternal life. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. We are going to read from verse uh, 58 to verse 60. And no, sorry, Pastor. <laughs> We are going to read from verse 61 to verse 63, and it reads as follows. But knowing in himself that his disciples were murmuring about this, Yeshua said to them, does this offend you? What if you see the Son of Man ascending to the place where he was before? It is the spirit that gives life. The flesh does not profit nothing. The words which I speak to you are spirit and alive. Hallelujah. 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 Here, yeah, these disciples were murmuring and, and uh, complaining and they say, what is this now? 
and Yeshua said, look here, you guys, this same son of man, you shall see him ascending to the place where he came before. And he then qualified his words that all these words that he was speaking, it was spiritual, it was not physical. And he said, the spirit, it is the spirit that gives life. The flesh does not profit nothing. The words which I speak to you are spirit and are life. My brothers and sisters, this is, this is very, very important to understand that the words, any words that we speak, they are spirit. But let's make sure that those words are life. Do they give life to people? Or they are death. They give death to people. Yeshua's words were giving life. Yours are supposed to give life, not death. For you are with Yeshua. And these words that you speak are supposed to be words of Yeshua that gives life. But if you don't speak words of Yeshua, you are speaking of words of the devil that brings death so at any given time either you are being used by yahweh to speak his word through yeshua or you are used by the devil to speak words that brings up death the choice is ours what are your choices today murmuring which brings death or belief and faith which brings life. It is our choice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor. Hallelujah. Uh, any contribution, Sister Gladys? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Um, we are going to read from verse um, 65 to 64 to verse, Pastor. 64 to verse 66. Yes, okay. Uh, we are going to read from verse 64 to verse 66, and it reads as follows. But there are some of you who are not believing, for Yeshua knew from the beginning who they were, the ones not believing, and who was the one betraying him. And he said, because of this, I have told you that one is able to come to me I have told you that no one is able to, is not, okay, verse 65. And he said, because of this, I have told you that no one is able to come to me except it is given to him from my father. Because of this saying, many of his disciples turned their backs and did not walk with him. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. It was, it was difficult for them, eh? <laughs> mm, I, Yes. 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 and whatever, then they decided to make a U-turn. Yes, there are so many people. It is not a surprise that when you speak words that are supposed to correct people, some people will disengage and it make a, a, route, a, right around, a right about 10 and go back to where they come from. We have seen it even on our platform that when we speak things that others don't want to believe because they've been told from childhood that this is this, when we say, no, this is Yeshua and this is what it is, we cannot go to the Father unless we go through Yeshua and some start getting offended and then they turn back and um, it is not normal, uh, it is not a normal when it happened, brothers and sisters, when one of us starts taking a back step, let's not worry because 
this will not be the first time it has happened before. Some who were following Yeshua and some who even ate the, the bread and fish who had witnessed miracles and all. But when it was time to actually, when the, the, the tire was, was meeting the tar, uh, they, they turned back. Yes, a lot will be offended by the truth because they want to listen to feel God, feel good gospel, and uh, then they will not follow the truth. Hallelujah. 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 So true, Pastor. We thank Yahweh. Uh, we it have was a message. difficult for them to actually re realize, to say, hey, this man is now talking about flesh and blood and eating and whatever. They said, no, we cannot take this rubbish. This is nonsense <laughs> to them. Then they turn back. Hallelujah. Like today, when you talk about Yahweh and Yeshua, people, it's like, where are you getting this doctrine? Yeah. And then they, they, they refer they refer today to, to, to this verse to say in the last days there will be uh, different doctrines and everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, we do have a question a question from Sister Lady say why did they decide to leave? Hallelujah. No, they didn't want this meat. They they did not want to be cannibals. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, Joshua says, eat my flesh and drink my blood. They said, no, 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 we are not going to be cannibals. Guys, this is too hard. Remember, uh, in verse, in verse, um, uh, let's just go uh, uh, back a little bit. 55. Uh, is there for my yeah, body? Yeah, verse 60. Before? They said, then many of his disciples, having heard, they said, this word is hard. Is Who is able to hear it? Hallelujah. And, uh, but knowing in himself that his disciples were murmuring about this, Yeshua said to them, does this offend you? Yeshua had seen that they have been offended, eating his blood, and said, this man must have lost his marbles. And then Yeshua said to them, it is the spirit that gives life. The flesh does not profit nothing. The words I speak to you are spirit and are life. And that did not go well with them. And then he told them that someone is going to betray me. He knew that someone was going to betray him. Hallelujah. And uh, because all of them who were not in the right place, I'm sure they were now saying, is it me? But I don't believe this man. So rather me go, rather than listening to this rubbish. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor. Brother Tolani, you are welcome. And Brother Karunda will follow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, I think another thing why the, these people found the word very hard was that there were other uh, uh, so-called prophets or so-called priests of the time whom they were following and they were doing miracles and also were preaching whatever they were preaching. And here is a man who, is, who says that he is uh, the son of Yahweh and comes and tells them that the, the bare truth of that he need, they need to go through him. It, it was to them like, no, this is guy who is a charlatan. So it could, that, that's, I believe that's my, my thought process that they could not understand it from that level of why is he speaking like that and why is he uh, putting himself uh, under the, the, the cloak of Yahweh. Shalom. Hallelujah. Shalom. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you, Brother Tolani. Brother Karunda, you are welcome. Hallelujah. Yes, shalom, shalom, brethren. Shalom, shalom. Yes, uh, for sure, it was a very difficult uh, word for the for the disciples to understand the the issue of partaking the flesh and the blood of Yeshua. 
But uh, it's our high question we ask ourselves, the very same question. Are we, some of us, offended by this issue? According to me, the answer is yes. Some of us, till now, we do not believe in Yeshua. And this is the reason as to why not all of us are going to partake in the same, same event. Not all of us who will take the flesh and the blood of Yeshua in the symbol of a bread, a, a, a bread and, a, and, a, and a grape juice. This tells me that still today, some of us are being offended by the same, same word. And it's a high time now. We stop looking at the news and we look on ourselves and we ask us the same question. Are we offended by the word of Yahweh? Is there any way, are you not doing the will of Yahweh? If actually we are not doing the will of Yahweh, it means now the word of Yahweh is offending us. Actually, if we do not take on this event, it means now we are betraying Yeshua because we already know and believe in Yeshua, but again, we will not partake the, 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 the memorial. Then it means now, we still now betray Yeshua as the, the, some of the Jews did. So we should now look, actually, if we see the way the Jews behave, we should now bring that reflection in our life and see what we can do to perfect or rather to, to make the word of Yahweh be seen in us. Because I think uh, we are just uh, the preachers, but it's our high time we ask ourselves, if our neighbors look at us, can they see Yahweh in us? Or they can only see Yahweh in our words? I think it's our high time now the world should see Yahweh in us. If I see Sister Emily or Brother Kolani, I can see Yahweh now in him or her. If we can't see that in our brothers, in our sisters, it means now there's a problem somewhere because Hallelujah. we should be the word of Yahweh. Shalom, shalom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Brother Karunda. That is, that is spot on. May Yahweh continue to give you wisdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So be it. Hallelujah. So be it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Brother Karunda. Hallelujah. We are going to read from verse 67 to verse 69, and it reads as follows. Therefore, Yeshua said to the twelve, Do you also wish to go? Then Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the works of the everlasting life, and we have believed and have known that you are the Messiah, the son of the living Elohim. Hallelujah. 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 Do, do you see here, these people who left Yeshua were Jews, mm -hmm. and these were religious. They were actually trying, uh, in the process of trying to leave their religion and to, to, to then follow Yeshua. But when they went and they were told now about being cannibals, they said, no, 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 this is too much for us. Then they made a U-turn. And Yeshua asked the 12 and said, do you also wish to leave? Because salvation is an individual. It is not something that is supposed to be forced upon anyone else. And Peter answered, and he said, where shall we go? You have the word of everlasting life. Peter accepted that Yeshua was not preaching like the, 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 the priest in the temple. That's why he was actually saying, no, you have the word of everlasting life. And uh, he said, where can we go? And he said, and we have believed and have known that you are the Messiah, the son of the living Elohim. These words were so powerful. Imagine how many people were following Yeshua around 
we know 5,000 people. And those 5,000 people, some of them, when he entered into, into, into the, when he, 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 he withdrew, and then they saw the boat, they followed the boat. They were following him every time, everywhere. But when he came to say, eat my blood, drink my blood and eat my flesh, all of them went boom. They went back to their Ten Commandments. That made them feel comfortable. And only 12 were left. 12 out of 5,000. Yeah. 12 out of 5,000. My brothers and sisters, that's why we should understand that it is written that the road, the get to life is narrow and constricted and very few will find it. This is not numbers game. We know if it was a numbers game, it means 12 will be the one that were lost. And um, 4,000, um, 800 and something were, 900 and something were gonna be uh, 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 um, saved. But no, it did not work like that. It was actually the 5,000 that were actually gone, minus only the 12. So it is so true, it is so real. Brothers, let's not follow the crowd. Let's follow the truth. Here, Peter and the 12, they did not follow the crowd, they followed the truth. They did not get offended because they knew the word of Yahweh. And they stick around for that word. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, hallelujah. Pastor, we, we have um, Brother Karunda. I will just give you an opportunity just now. Uh, just a sec. Uh, let me read the message first from um, Sister Gladys. He say, okay. Oh, 4988. I, I think he's minusing the toll from the, uh, 5000. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, you, Sister, sister Lady. <laughs> I'm a mathematician. Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, Prada Karunda, you are welcome. Thank you, Sister. Uh, uh, sorry, Sister Emily. Look at the number 4988. Hallelujah. We're lost. <laughs> And only 12. Hey, if it was an exam, this was the total failure. But <laughs> it is not about exam. Hallelujah. It is only the 12 were chosen by their hearts. And today as well, we might be eight, we might be 20, as long as we are chosen by our hearts. <laughs> That's what counts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, sister ladies. Hallelujah. Ah, brother Karunda, you are welcome. Hallelujah. Uh, again, now this one tells us that even if the the meat is so hard for us to chew, even if the word of here offend us, you should not quit. Hallelujah. Instead, good change, so that you can fit in the word, not the word fit in you. Fit into you, yes. I think, I think uh, most of us uh, want, the, want to go with our traditions and uh, all we have, yeah, all things that we collect from the world. We want to come with them in the word of Yahweh. Yes. We should not be like that. We should come empty handed so that we can be fed. And if the food yes. offends, Try as much as possible to chew and understand, and the spirit of fear will help you to understand the, because the spirit of fear searches the deep things of Yahweh. Why should you want to, 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 to swim on, on, on a shallow water while there are deep water there? Just sink there and get the, 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 the deepest things of Yahweh so that you can be strong enough to to stand the, the storm because uh, you see now, I think uh, the issue of faith now comes in again. 
uh, some of us still want to, to be babies. We do not want to be mature in the world. And what does it mean by being mature in the world? Yes, the word will be said into you. You'll be offended. Go back to the scripture like the, the, the believers in Berea, whereby after the after the, the teachings, they will go back to the scripture and do some research so that they can be firm in the word. Why don't we do so? Instead, we just find it the, the simplest way is just to quit the word. It's just to quit the meeting of the saint. Why? It's, it should not be like that. Because you see now, if you quit the word, now the Satan will be on the other side waiting for you to tell mm -hmm. you now people hate you because that's the gospel of Satan. He will mm -hmm. say that, oh, you see now, uh, Brother Karuna, you see these people, they do not love you. You see the, all those nonsense. Satan will preach to you. But actually, we are the one who is giving Satan a chance to preach to us those gospel. Because would I be in the word of Yahweh? I could be fed on the word of Yahweh. And the word of Yahweh will shape me as, the, uh, as it is. And I will be strong enough to walk on the storm. And actually, in the last days, we need these strong believers to, to maneuver on the, 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 the issues of tribulations and all that. Because actually, uh, the world is on the other side facing us. We should now face the world again with the word of here. Yeah. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. So true. Uh, you um, know, some believers, a small, small thing, they run like mascara. Instead of actually waiting and uh, being there, they run, which is a sad situation. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you, Brother Karunda. Hallelujah. Uh, we have a message uh, from Sister Gladys. Uh, he said, thanks, Pastor Sharp Mind. Uh, and she said again, yes, Brother Karunda, that's why we are told to submit. We don't have to be stubborn, no. Hallelujah. And yes, um, uh, praying minds, praying mantis runs. Hallelujah. I, I don't understand, Sister Gladys. Praying mantis run. Yeah. Pastor, you, your, your speaker is too loud. Your speaker is too loud. Uh, no, I think his in. other microphone. No, your other microphone is on. I think the other device is on. Oh. So you have double. Yes. Thank yeah. you, uh, brother, uh, brother Colin. Thank you so much. You Can you hear me, Pastor? Now? Much better now, Pastor. Hallelujah. Thank you, brother. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Um, um, now we, you wanted to yes. say something? Yeah, I'd like to add on. I'd like to add on. Hallelujah. You know, there's one thing that I've picked up from the, uh, from the lips of Yahshua. He was not a begging person. Uh, yes. He didn't beg anyone. It was tell it like it is. You take it or you leave it. As Brother Karunda, that you know what? If you are not strong here, I know. <laughs> it's something else. It's take it or you leave it. Because, I mean, uh, um, I am the way to the light through the fire. I am the way to the Father. All right, mm -hmm. who are you? Yes, I'm Yahshua, the son of the living Elohim. And But you are born of Joseph, so? But I'm the son of the living Elohim. You got to <laughs> believe it or you don't. Uh, didn't you your wanna... prophet, he said, didn't your prophet tell you about me? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, 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 I'm just imagining in the modern day, guy, he was like, I, I, are you prepared to debate with me here? Because, okay, tell me all the laws of Moses. I can, I can start from the beginning until the end. And thereafter, you're going to be left mesmerized. But we're waiting for the, uh, for the, uh, for the Messiah. Duh, you're looking at him. <laughs> So uh, first, I think, can you find the book of also of Thomas uh, in due time? And then you go through it as well. And uh, to see how 
yeah, how much, I mean, how tough was a Yashua day? Because he doesn't beg. This is one thing. This is a strict parent. And already, you know, when you walk within the light of Yashua, you know what, what is expected of you. You know the rules and regulations that how should you conduct yourself? How should you treat others? And the world will treat you back in the, in the very same way. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much, Brad Golani. Hallelujah. We are going to read from verse 70 to verse 71. Wow. Hallelujah. Thank Yahweh. And it reads as follows. Um, Yeshua answered them, did I not choose you, the 12? Yet one of you is a devil. But he spoke of Judas, uh, Judas Cariot, Simon's son, for this one was about to betray him, being one of the 12. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, you know, it was very difficult to deal with Yeshua because Yeshua knew everything before it happened. And he said, didn't I choose you? But one of you is uh, the devil. And, uh, <laughs> and imagine one who was actually thinking in his heart that I'm going to betray him. How would he feel? Brothers and sisters, Yahweh knows our heart. We cannot think that we can do anything to anyone of Yahweh's people and get away with without Yahweh knowing what is what the person is doing. We will be only fooling ourselves. Like Judas Iscariot, he knew what he wanted to do, but he underestimated the ability of Yeshua to know that before he even did it. And Yeshua did not run to Malawi. He stayed and he dealt with it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor, <laughs> Pastor um, <laughs> oh, brethren, wasn't this a deliberate attempt by Yeshua not uh, calling him out? on the spot in front of everyone. You called him out. <laughs> Yeshua called him out in front of everyone. And he and said, he said one, of you one of you is a you. devil. One of you? Yes. One of you? Yes. Not Judas Iscariot. I know no. that you have met with that guy. Yes. He said one, one of, of you. you. So the one of you knew exactly who he was. Who he is, yeah. But because everyone knows, he... everyone knows in his own heart what he's doing. Yeshua did not run away when he knew that someone is going to betray him. He faced the bullet. Take it like it is. Yes. Take it on the chin like a man. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Sister Emily, Pastor? we thought your 71 is too long. Yeah. I, we thank Yahweh, Pastor. Yeah, I was not thinking that will finish it, Sister Emily. Yes. Uh, we didn't have faith. We didn't have faith. Ah, Brother Karunda. <laughs> Hallelujah. Brother Karunda, I wanted to say something. Yes, I'm saying now the issue of faith now comes again here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rather Karunda, you got us there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was dead by sight. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> because there was never a verse which was this long, a chapter which was this long. Mm, as long as it long. was 50, and uh, we battled. And I said, now 50, 70 hour uh, is two days. You know, Paul was only 15 chapter, 15 verses, hmm. 16 verses. 22, we say, hey, Paul is long. Now John said, uh, you, you haven't seen nothing yet, 71. Yeah. I think no, we have fear to you. From the word of uh, God, since we in the book of John, he, he, he urged us to be coming early in the platform so that we can start since because now the 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 the, the chapters are too long. Yes, yeah. yes. 
Yes. yes. Uh, let's start at exactly seven o'clock to let's do our praise and worship before seven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Hallelujah. for the suggestion, Brother Karunda. Uh, thank you, Brother Karunda. Brother Tolani? Uh, no, what I was actually saying is that um, uh, in with Paul, it, it was shaping our minds properly. And now since we're working in this book, it is now, we are now uh, flexible. We are able to understand much easier. So we started with the hard road and now mm. we're in a good road. Hallelujah. 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 We thank Yahweh. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Brethren. Um, we are still in time and we thank Yahweh. Yes, it was the longest book and we thank Yahweh Pastor that we completed it in a day. Um, thank you so much for the contributions, for the questions, and thank you so much for your time. May Yahweh continue to bless you guys. Uh, let us meet tomorrow, uh, 10 minutes before 7 o'clock, so that we can do praises and prayers. And 7 o'clock, uh, we will start with the bio, uh, the reading of the word. Tomorrow's book, it's, 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 it's a little bit longer as well, ne, Pastor? Um, yes, see. it's 60, I think. Yo. 54. Okay. Yes, tomorrow's book is the same. So we are going to finish it tomorrow. Yahweh's willing. Hallelujah. Um, can I please ask, uh, Sister Gladys, can I please ask to, uh, to close for us in prayer? Hallelujah. Brethren, I need to confess something today. Oh, sorry, Pastor. Uh, yes, yes, Pastor, you can go ahead. Um, I came to the platform at four minutes past the six and I thought I was late. And I thought everyone found out that I was late and they went away and I panicked. I sent, I called Sister Coletta, Sister Emily to say, what's happening? No one is in the platform. And Sister Emily said, uh-uh, it is seven o'clock fast. <laughs> we started <laughs> seven. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. Uh, these things, they happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, Brother Tolani, can I please ask to, to, to close for us in prayer? Hallelujah. All right. Um, let us pray. Hallelujah. Thank you. Heavenly Father, our Elohim, our Yahweh, we come before you this evening and we say thank you for guiding us throughout this day. Thank you for raising us up this morning and thank you that we have convened amongst the other saints, Heavenly Father, and we're learning new words, new ways of meanings. And here we are, Heavenly Father, about to take on a new road as we wake up in the new day. And for those, Heavenly Father, who are up and about to continue their day, I ask of you, Heavenly Father, to take your, the, the first four steps before them as they will follow those footsteps, Heavenly Father, when they see them on the ground, Heavenly Father. For the idle words and the idle minds of those, Heavenly Father, who wants to carry, uh, take us down, we know that you are with us, you are our, you are sword and shield, the double-edged sword, Heavenly Father, that pierces through those deepened hearts, but that's one the beautiful hands that mend a broken heart. As we walk within your image, as we live within your image, we say thank you. Be with us, Heavenly Father, as we lay our heads to sleep this evening. Be watch, watch over us. And for those who continue with this, with this day, watch over them. In the mighty name of Yeshua, we pray. So be it, hallelujah. So, so be it, hallelujah. hallelujah. Uh, sorry, brethren, I, I, was sorry, I, I forgot to, to, to mention, Sister Novo, because you couldn't make it because of law shedding, um, our government, yeah, law shedding, hallelujah. <laughs> why did you just say my company <laughs> so that everyone knows that you are the one who is responsible <laughs> shalom shalom pastor <laughs> <laughs> hallelujah shalom 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 hallelujah sister M my lights are out what do I do <laughs> <laughs> go and pay your bills <laughs> I paid I won't be paid <laughs> I I don't trust the let me see the slips. <laughs> I, uh, uh, hallelujah. I check them out. 
שלום, שלום. שלום, ברדרן, שלום.